Welcome to What's New in ShareWell Service Management video series brought to you by Beyond 20. I'm Guy Baker and I'll be your host for this series. Before we begin, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. This video is the second part about the all-new lifecycle editor for business objects. This is a brand new tool which allows you to create life cycles using a visual editor which is quite similar to the one-step editor. There are also new form controls for major business objects which display the current state of the record and provide navigation control to transition the record forward and backward in the life cycle. In part one, we showed how to create a new life cycle for the incident object using the life cycle editor and how to add navigation control and status display to the main incident form. Now we will dive deeper into the new tool and show how to add validation, constraints, and actions to the lifecycle transitions in the lifecycle editor. Let's begin by taking a look at our incident lifecycle as it is in the lifecycle editor. Note status has a corresponding transition which was added when the next status was placed in the lifecycle editor. We can edit the transitions to add properties, rules, and post actions by highlighting the transition name and clicking the edit button. On the Properties tab, you can set the name of the transition. So for the transition from in cart to new, we could change the transition name to submit. Rules are basically constraints. By clicking the plus button on the Rules tab, we can add an expression that will determine when the transition is allowed to occur. For the submit transition, we want to make sure that the OK to submit is equal to true. Post actions are one steps or action commands that run when the transition is triggered. In this case, we will run the next step from relationship one step in the incident status relationship. This is an out of the box one step that checks to see if there is a corresponding action command for the next status in the incident status table. If the command exists, it will be run, otherwise the incident will be set to the next status. For each transition, you can either select the next step from Relationship One Step, or another one step designed specifically for that transition, like Reopen Incident or Set Pending, or one of my favorites, Create or Link Problem, which will run if we transition to Known Error. Once we have all of our transitions set up in the prop with the proper name, rules, and post action commands, we can publish our blueprint and test our new incident lifecycle. So now we've got our blueprint published and we're looking at a ticket that was submitted in the portal. It went through the in cart and it is in the new status. So it's already been submitted. Go ahead and click assign to me. This will allow us to move it from new to assigned. And then if we're ready to begin work, we can, or we could place it in pending. Let's go ahead and try the set to pending and ask us why we're setting it in pending. Once you have the information back you need, go ahead and place it in progress. Now that it's in progress, we have the additional info required or the create known issue or, or create or link known issue. Now notice that the additional info required is grayed out because we have a rule that says that we have to check this little box right here. So if we check that box, now additional info required is available for us. brings up our email, allows us to send that email. We type in whatever we need here and then send that off. Notice now it's in additional info required. Once we get our information back from the client, go ahead and put it back into in progress. And then we could, if we wanted to, we could resolve it. And the same thing would work for the create or link known issue that allows us to create a link or, or create a new problem or link it to a problem 
and then wait for the solution or workaround. Well, I hope this video has been informative for you. Please subscribe to our Beyond 20 LLC channel on YouTube to view more videos on Sharewell, ITIL, or ITSM solutions provided by Beyond 20, or visit our website at www.beyond20.com to learn how Beyond 20 can assist your company with ITSM training and consulting, as well as Sharewell development and administration. Yeah.